It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Get out your secret decoder rings and... No, I'm kidding. Wednesday just means the news. I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines for best results. Apply today's news directly to the forehead. First up, Bitcoin smashed through stubborn resistance on Tuesday, hitting 23500 for the first time since early June. The world's biggest cryptocurrency has cracked the 200-week moving average as a result, but analysts fear that the gains may be short-lived. On Twitter, Wrecked Capital said Bitcoin needs to secure a weekly close above $22,800 to prove that it's turned a corner. But a lot can happen between now and Sunday. Ether is now nearing $1,600, up 50% in a week, and altcoins, including Solana, Polygon and Avalanche are also performing strongly. Crypto investors have been desperately looking for a sign that the bear market may be going into hibernation. A high-stakes bout between Twitter and Elon Musk will begin in October, a judge has ruled. The social network is suing the billionaire for attempting to pull out of an agreed $44 billion takeover. Twitter had wanted a non-jury trial to begin in September, while Musk was lobbying for the case to be heard next year. During a hearing on Tuesday, Twitter's lawyers accused Musk of attempted sabotage and claimed he's doing his best to run the company down. The entrepreneur's legal team dismissed these allegations as preposterous, arguing this makes no sense given how he has a larger stake in Twitter than the company's own board of directors. The NFT sector is coming under increasing attack from phishing scams, with yet another social media influencer targeted on Tuesday. In the latest incident, Zeneca's Twitter profile was compromised, and a post directing unsuspecting victims to a fake airdrop, DO NOT MINT, ended up trending on Twitter. All of this comes days after Yuga Labs, the company behind Board Ape Yacht Club, warned a persistent threat group targeting the NFT community was planning a coordinated attack. Zeneca has now regained access to their Twitter account, but they're unsure how the scammers managed to take control in the first place. And finally, US detectives have managed to recover over $500,000 in crypto that was paid to North Korean hackers following ransomware attacks. The FBI and Justice Department sprang to action after a medical center in Kansas was attacked. State-sponsored cyber criminals had encrypted hospital servers that were used to store critical data and operate key equipment. The crypto transaction was traced using blockchain analytics, and breadcrumbs led the FBI to China-based money launderers who helped Pyongyang cash out ransom payments. It's believed North Korea uses these ill-gotten gains to fund its nuclear weapons program. But please use your well-gotten gains to fund our YouTube channel by liking this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel that I just mentioned, and clicking on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. Alex in the description below can help cash out your crypto curiosity as well. Ask Alex in said description if you have any questions about our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and that metaverse thingamabob that Mark Zuckerberg wants to happen. And that does it for Wednesday. Again, I've been your host, Andrew, and we'll see you tomorrow.